Hey, welcome to Scratch Ticket Sunday. Today we have ourselves two game shows. At least that's what it says on the Atlantic Lottery website. That's what this ticket is called. Two game shows with top prizes of $100,000. We have The Price is Right and Family Feud. We've played this before and it was fun last time. So let's give it another spin today. Let's spin that wheel eventually. But let us start off with what's up for bid. Typically with The Price is Right, when you're trying to get up on stage, if you match the actual retail price with whatever you bid, you would win, what was it? $500, $100? I think it, it increased over time, but in any event, in order to win on this ticket, your bid does have to match your actual retail price. You it you do not win even if you don't go over. So let's let's see if we win. The first one we bet a dollar seventy five. That is not the prize, by the way. The prize will be this. Uh, one hundred, you know, a measly one hundred thousand dollars. So if the actual retail price is one dollar and seventy five cents then we'll be $100,000 richer. So look, we got a one. That's two thirds. That's one third of the potential grand prize. Ah, 150, we were so close. We were a quarter off. Maybe next time. We will match the actual retail price. This one we bid $7.25, the actual retail price, $6.25, we still, we still went over. But lastly we bid $4.75, I presume it's like an exotic can of beans. Actual retail price is $3.75, we do not win that one today. Let's move on to cliffhangers. If you manage to fill all the steps in any of these vertical lines here. You win the corresponding prize, like if we find a one, we win $10, and so far, up to 100000 So let's do that. Get ourselves a 12, a 44, and a 34. Where is the 12? Is there even a 12? Yes, there is a 12. Looks like there are all of the numbers. Now all we need is a 57. We'll win $20, but we got a 47. Which, hey, is one step closer to $5,000. We can scratch off one for the grand old prize. Got a 37 for $30. This is an ancient ticket. I've held on to it for forever. Like the first printings of these. I'm like, this was a lot of fun last time. I want to have another one, but they did have a second print. But maybe I hoarded on to... Hoarded a good one. We're gonna find out. 58. We get a 7 and a 32. That's 5 grand. That would most certainly be grand. What better time for 5 grand? No time like the present for 5 grand. Still have looking, it's looking like there's still six numbers left to go. Got a 43, if we scratch off a 15 and 24, we will get $1,000, which would be no problem. And again, we are also, no, we are three away from 100,000, 550, 51. Found ourselves a six for the $500 slot, which is the least likely one at this point. Okay, so we have ourselves a 49. Exposing itself very quickly. 32. Alright, so if we find a 7, we get $5,000. If we find a 57, we get $20. And if we find a 1, we get $10. Those are the prizes up for grabs right now at the cliffhangers. Let's yodel this number scratched. Okay. So we got a 5. Nothing in the cliffhangers. The cliffhangers, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I thought I said it wrong, but I didn't. I'm used to just saying stuff incorrectly, so I'm like, wait a second. Anyways, let's find out what the winning number is for Punch-A-Bunch that matches your numbers. 
you'll win the corresponding prize. So what's the winning number? Winning number is 12. Or can we get a baker's dozen? Can we get a... Can we get a 13? We got an 11. Got an 11, we got a 3. What else? Get ourselves a 9. We still have ourselves another chance. Wow, there's the 7 we needed for cliffhangers. Well, that's okay. Well, now it's gonna... It's gonna be time for my favorite game. On the Price is Right, Plinko. Which is not too dissimilar... From the word game, the word maze scratches that we like so much. You just start down here and then follow the arrow and wherever it winds up, you win that prize. You can you can win a maximum of fifty thousand dollars by landing in the middle here. And various other prize amounts. So let's uh let's drop the token and see where we go. If we can just keep going straight down, we'll be fifty thousand dollars richer. Straight down again. Oh, and then it bounced to the left. Where's it going from there? Definitely not up. Going down more, and then back to the right. Down some more. Go straight down here, we would get $500. Back to the left. Okay, down. Okay, to the right. Are we gonna win 500? Very well possible if this is down. It's $500 winner. I actually thought it pointed down for a second, my heart skipped a beat. But, if it goes left two more times, we'll win the grand prize, which will make my heart skip probably more than just one beat. But right into the zero. Right into nothing. Okay, now we gotta spin that wheel. Not sure exactly how this one works, but I imagine you gotta... You gotta get a dollar to win the prize, so let's... Scratch these off and see. That's a uh, one thousand five hundred. Maybe it got a maybe got a match. Fifty. Okay, whatever this is, I'm guessing. Yeah. Good luck. Too bad. We were so close to getting either a fifty dollar win, a twenty five dollar win. I would have liked it if there's like another good luck on there somewhere, then it would seem more like it's actually a wheel. It's like, oh, it stopped on this good luck, but you know, it could have been this good luck. In any case, with the Showcase Showdown, I believe it is pretty well similar to what's up for bid. Your bid has to meet the actual value, and if so, you win the corresponding prize. Let's see what we bid for the first Showcase Showdown. Fortunately, we get to play both of them instead of competing with someone else. So we have a 525. So what's the actual retail price? Five dollars. We just missed it. What did we just miss? 25,000. I wonder if these showcase showdown ones are all like really high number. Let us see. Now. What is our bid for the second Showcase Showdown? $9 even. The actual retail price of Showcase Showdown number two is... Oh, uh, eight seventy five. We just missed it by a quarter again. And we just missed $10. That's too bad for the price is right, but it's still not over. We still have the feud. So, if any... If our answer matches anything that the survey says, we win the corresponding prize. So survey... Okay, what's the question? What vegetarians put on a sandwich? I mean, I would say... Like, as far as the price, or, uh, as far as Family Feud is concerned, I would say lettuce. Me, personally, I would put spinach on a, on a sandwich, if I were a vegetarian. But let's see if any of those are our answer. Let's see what the survey says. So what's our answer? What's our answer today? Your answer is... Avocado. Okay. 
So we don't have any other answers. That makes sense. So survey says one, two, or three avocado. We will win that corresponding prize. But if it is lettuce or spinach, it doesn't mean anything as far as winning a prize goes. So what's uh, the number one prize? Cucumbers. Cucumbers for how much? For the grand prize. Survey says for number two. Tomatoes. Also makes sense. $50. And number three. Oh, beans, bean sprouts, really, for number three? So not lettuce or spinach? Well, it's only, it's the top three. Yeah, cucumbers cut and tomatoes cut flat. That makes sense for a sandwich. So question number two. Name something you do to a shirt. I feel like they're asking... I'm gonna say iron. I'm gonna say you iron a shirt. I mean, you can also wear a shirt, but I'm gonna say iron. Our answer is wear it. Yeah, that that is. A... So I said iron, secondarily wear it. So if wear it is on here, then we will win a prize of some variety. Which I'd appreciate, because I, you know, thinking about, hey, iron. So that was number one. So if us saying iron, was our actual answer. What would we have won? Thirty dollars. That would have that would have been all right. But we can still find where it. Yeah, fold the shirt. That's, that's the first thing I think of. One hundred dollars. Ah, button it. Even if you have a shirt with no buttons, button it. We have one question remaining. There's still possibly a grand prize of one hundred thousand dollars. Way to get around without a car. I mean, walking. Walking is one of the ways you can do that. Taxi. Yeah, I guess if you don't physically have a car. Ways to get around without a car. I, I imagine the taxi being a car, but, but okay. Okay, family feud surveyors. So we gotta hope the taxi's up here. Bike, yeah, that that makes good sense. Motorbike. Tricycle. Got the bus. For 50. And here's the last one. So, uh, I want to thank you again for joining for Scratch Ticket Sunday. I will catch you next time, but before that time, scratch off. Ah, we can go on the train. That just ruins my train of thought. Bye, everybody. Have your pets spayed or neutered.